Grandma 2K, and I'm coming at you today, sis, with a get ready with me. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> So I decided that I wanted to sit and play in some makeup and actually share with you all some new products that I found. So what better way than to do a get ready with me? So I'm going to just tell you real quick about the products and then we'll hop on into this. But this is the look that I did create today. So the things that I used was um, some new products that I found from one of my Facebook sis. Her name is Katora. Uh, this is her card that came with my products. The name of her company is Couture Cosmetics. And I will leave all of her information in the description box, guys, um, so that you can go on her website and take a look around and pick you up some items as well. She was kind enough to give us a discount code. Hey! So if you want to use the discount code Wheezy, get you an extra 10% off um, and get your hands on some great products. So the things that I got from her was I got these six loose pigments and I absolutely love them. Okay, I used the orange today. If you follow me on Facebook on uh, Wheezy Wig Reviews, you also saw a look that I created with the blue loose pigment and I loved it. So I am so happy that this one came out just as creamy and pretty. So this is comes in a bundle pack. I also, guys, she sent me some um, glitters which I absolutely love. They're very finely milled. And um, I love these glitters because I have hooded eyes. So it's very difficult to find the perfect glitter because you can't use the big chunky glitter with hooded eyes because if you do, it just wind up looking crazy and like glitter just popping off my eyelids. So I love these because they're so finely milled and they stay on just beautifully. Is that a word? Beautifully? I think so. <laughs> the other things that I got you all was several lippies. The one that I have on today is this one. And I love it. It is the lippy number seven. Uh, it says Contour, Couture Cosmetics on it. And the cute thing is her name is Katora and her name starts with a K. So all of her product names start with a K as well. So what I mean by that is... Uh, these are the lippies that I used on the blue look that I created, like I told you on Facebook. And these colors are called Cool and um, Connection. And they both start with a K. I don't know if you can see that or not. But these are, oh man, it's a beautiful neutral lip for dark skin. It is the perfect dark skin neutral lip. So um, the other thing that I did use um, on this look today with the number seven was this lip gloss and it's the number 26. And so I kind of partnered those two together. So I got these lippies. Uh oh, guys. Absolutely pretty. So I got the, all of those colors. Ooh, I can't hold nothing. And then I got these neutral glosses as well as these two. And so you guys make sure you take a, a look on her website and uh, just take a scroll through it. I'm sure, sure, sure you guys will find something you like. It's very reasonably priced. And now we got a discount code, sis. So you welcome. If you guys want to see this beautiful look that I was able to create, um, and I don't remember the name of this wig that I have on. I actually just did a review on her, and it is just slipping my mind. I don't know, child. I'll leave it in the description box. Y'all know I'm old. I can't remember. <laughs> so if you want to see how I created this beautiful, get ready with me. I ain't going nowhere, sis. Look, then keep watching. Okay, guys, I'll try to call out some of this stuff to you that I'm going to be using because, girl, I am not putting all that stuff in the description box. I got a whole life to live. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> but this is Nivea cream that I'm putting on my face right now just to add some moisture. Um, and I get that at, like, Walmart or Walgreens. 
Gonna go ahead and just kind of tack this wig down with the bed head, T-I-G-I. Um, as you all know, I did a whole review on that. I might leave a link, uh, I card up here at the top um, in the left hand corner for you to click on to see that. Otherwise, I'll just put it in the description box. But I like it much better than the got to be glued because I don't get the, the um, white flakes or anything like that around my forehead. And if I do have um, residue, it cleans up real easy with just a damp um, paper towel and water. So there you go. Got your few little baby hairs I'm working with. Okay, and so I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up here a bit, and we're going to get started there first. As you all know, I like to do my eyes first, and um, depending on if I need the the look to last all day, I'll use my Got To Be Glued in, in the yellow bottle um, on my eyebrows, and that's just to help the hair stay up. It really, really does work, guys, but just to kind of brush it through um, your eyebrows, and then you want to kind of let it dry. You saw me use a little hand fan there to dry it and then I just cleaned it up with the q-tip with some alcohol on it so that it doesn't have any residual got to be glued um, on my above my brows because if it does then when I go into line like I'm doing now with the pencil then my pencil kind of skips around and I don't get a straight line All right, and this is a Fenty Beauty um, eyebrow pencil. I uh, can't remember the exact name of this one, but it's their newest um, eyebrow pencil. And I like it because it's very, very creamy, and I like using it at the tail end of my brow. Now, this is the um, MVP brow pencil by Fenty Beauty, and I use this one in two different colors. I use it in Cousin Black, and I also use it in soft black. And so then I'm just gonna brush the product right on through. And sis, there go them brows, looking like cousins, not twins. Hey! So I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna clean up with some NARS concealer and this is the one I use all the time. It is called a uh, Light Chantilly Number no. 1. And I like it for cleaning up underneath just to kind of give me a little highlight underneath my brow. Now I would never, 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 never use this above my eyebrow to clean up because sis, that would look straight up crazy and I'd have a serious halo brow. So instead what I do is I use um, another NARS concealer and this one is called Mocha Cafe, I believe it's called. And it uh, more uh, easily matches my foundation color. So I use the darker one on the top of the brow. Now I'm just going in with the Fenty Beauty Eyeshadow Base and just kind of blending that in and drying it with my little hand fan I got off of Amazon. And then I'm going to go in with the T. Lu P. Louise base um, number five. And I, my eyes like water all the time in the corners. So I usually have to put like two bases down to try to keep my eyes from messing up my eyeshadow look on my inner corners. It's just my struggle is real with that. So if you guys know of anything that helps, then um, let me know because it my struggle is really, really real. And so you guys saw that I used the Juvia's Place palette to go in um, with this yellow. And girl, I don't know the exact name of the palette. I'd have to get up and walk all the way downstairs to look. And that ain't gonna happen. So 
So I had to take me a little, little break from blending. Now that's the Fumi palette by um, Juvia's Place. And I love the pal this palette because actually I just love all of the Juvia Place palettes. They're all so pigmented. And I'm going in with the color pop, and I believe that one is number one. It's the very lightest, whitest shade that they have. And again, I'm just putting um, some concealer on so that when I put that orange pigment on, it will have something to stick to as well as it'll brighten the color. And this is the Couture Cosmetic. Um, pigmented loose pigment that I'm applying now and you all I love working with this stuff her products I'm telling you I'm not getting paid for this this is not a sponsored video she did offer but I turned it down because that's how much I like her products so seriously check her out you guys now I'm just using some of my uh, Too Faced glitter glue on top and then I'm going in, I'm applying the, the glue there and I'm going in and patting the glitter on top as well. And that glitter is just bomb.com. Look how finely milled that is. It is absolutely beautiful. And it and you can work with it so easy. It just it applies very smooth, very seamless. So I'm telling you, you're going to want to check out her products. All right, guys, so I'm going in now with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette. That was one of my very first Juvia's Place palettes. And again, pigmented, pigmented, pigmented. All of the Juvia Place palettes are, and I love them. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys a little trick to get your glitter off of your face. If you're using glitter and you get it all over, just get you some tape, any kind of tape. Um, this is some tape I got from the post office that I had left over. And just use that tape to pull that glitter right off of your face. Um, and when I take my glitter looks off at night, I go in with the tape first and I pull the glitter off of my lid with the tape. And then I use my makeup wipes to take the remainder of the glitter off. All right, guys, so I just put up just a little thin line of liner on the bottom, just where I'm going to lay my lash. Then I went in with some Too Faced Major Hangover Primer, which I absolutely love. And now I'm just using a little uh, color correction by Lancome. And I think this one is called Red Orange or Orange Red. My name rubbed off of the bottle, so I'm not 100% sure. And then again, Fenty Beauty. I'm going to be using the concealers in 380 and 390. I kind of mix those two together. Um, for underneath my eye and so guys I'm going to be doing the three-in-one method where you put your concealer on your contour and your foundation and then you kind of blend each one out separately I find when I use this method I use a lot less product it may look like I have a lot on my face but I really really don't I use so much less product And I am using my um, Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color uh, Spiced Rum, I think it's called. But this technique, it just gives you such a flawless look and you don't use as much product as I said because you're not going in with your foundation and then putting concealer on top of that and then contour on top of that you're doing each thing has like its own layer and then you're just kind of meshing and blending it all together which just works out so nicely I love this technique 
and it just looks so much better to me. It doesn't feel cakey and I never feel like I have a bunch of product just layered on my face when I do it this way. But I will say, sis, your blend game got to be strong, strong, strong. Because it's going to take you a minute to blend the product all in um, seamlessly. So you just got to have the patience of Job, girl. Get her done, okay? Okay guys, so now I'm going to be going in with my Fenty Beauty setting powders and I use the um, honey under my eyes and for under my jawline to give me that reverse shadow look to help my jawlines look more defined and give me highlight underneath my eyes. And um, then I'll use the hazelnut for to set all over my face. And then these are my bronzers from Fenty Beauty that I go in with. And this is Mocha Mommy uh, that I set that contour with. And then I also bronze down my nose with the Coco Naughty. Okay, and then I'm going to take the hazelnut setting powder and just kind of go all over my face just to kind of blend everything together. Now I'm taking the Fenty Beauty um, concealer in the number 380 and I'm just outlining underneath my eye because I'm going to use that to help make my eyeshadow pop for under my eye. I'm going to go in with that outer corner with the purple and then towards the middle there as you see I'm going to use kind of that reddish color and then in my inner um, eye line I'm going to go in with the yellow so that I'm using the same colors underneath that I did use on top. Now this is the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette and I like mixing those colors together um, and it just gives you a nice little pop of color on your cheeks. Okay, and then I'm going to take my Fenty um, Matchstick Highlighter. This is in the color Rum and this is a cream highlighter and I use that just on my nose and kind of blend it in with my finger and then I go on top with my Juvia's Place Heroin, um, I believe it's the volume one highlighter. And I just love the way that it makes my nose look kind of metallic. And I'm also using that, Hero that Juvia's Place highlighter um, right underneath my brow. And so here guys, I'm just applying some glue to be able to put my lashes on. And I did do a whole tutorial on my lashes. So I'll leave a link for that and you guys can watch. Okay guys, I don't know what happened, but I lost the footage of me doing the lips. But I did use the Lippy from the Contour Cosmetics, the number seven that I showed you earlier, as well as the number 26 gloss. And I just love the product. Now here I'm using my Fenty Beauty Mascara. And I'm just blow drying my hair with my new uh, hair blow drying straightener thing. So yeah, but I love the look. I love the Couture Cosmetics. Okay guys, pretty much this is my finished look. I love it. Look at that. It came out so pretty, just as I imagined in my head. So I am so, so happy with it. So you guys, I will leave all the information for Couture Cosmetics, again, in my description box. Don't forget, if you want a 10% discount, make sure you um, click on to her website. Use the coupon code Weezy, W-E-E-Z-Y, and save you a few little coins, okay? I absolutely love her products. I love the lippies, the pigment, um, the loose pigments. 
thumbs up for me. I am so, so happy that I found her. So I wanted to make sure that I shared her with you guys as well. All right, you guys. So I hope you're all doing well, staying healthy. Make sure, sis, that you're staying in the house, hand washing, social distancing. None of that's changed. Wear your mask if you go out and keep yourself protected. All right? Don't matter how crazy you look. At least you're going to be alive to look crazy. Okay? All right, you guys. I love you all. And remember what I always say to show somebody a little piece of heaven today. This is Wheezy, the Sexy Grandma 2K, and I'll see you guys on the next video.